Hi, this is Elisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. If you already own a box of a Low Cooking's Magic Marker set, I am sure you are going to love our new coming product. This is a Low Cooking's Magic Mushroom. If you are following our Facebook or um, YouTube tutorial, you probably already saw a few of my awesome tutorials that I was using those Magic Mushroom to do the background. But today I am actually going to show you how to use those magic mushrooms to coloring your background stamp and also your stamp image. When you combine our magic mushroom with our magic stamp and the um, die cut, this is what you get. And I promise you, each card is only take you probably 25 seconds to completely coloring. It's simple, fast, and but it's a really breathtaking result. So that's started. Okay, so what is Magic Mushroom? Magic Mushroom is actually a special blending tool and uh, we, uh, those are special made by the local King Robert stand. So first of all, on the, those holding area, you want to make sure there's a local King's logo on top because uh, those are a special custom made. First of all, the foam is uh, just perfect. The softness is not too soft and not, so, not too hot. Uh, not too hard and also the surface is not wrong so it's kind of flat and then when you're blending it it just gets you the perfect result each mushroom comes with individual storage container when you don't use your mushroom you can just put in they will storage your mushroom and they also they come with a paper box so you can storage all your mushroom in one box and then when you want to use it, you can just open them and put on your holding basis. So we have been extending all your special promotion until November 15. If you place your order before November 15, 2019, we will include these two holding bases for free. Just pay for the shipping fee. Okay, for my previous tutorial, I was using those magic mushrooms to do the blending technique, so I didn't really use the stem image. But in this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to use those magic mushrooms for coloring. Those are the Austin coloring blending tool because it's fast and it's easy. It's like a um, it like a you spend long time to finish coloring, but actually probably take you under under thirty seconds. And I'm going to show you how. Believe me, is it is just like that. Okay, so for our customers, you probably realize in 2019, most of our combos that um, come with two die cut. They come with outline die cut and also come with a detail die cut. So because those are magic mushrooms, I'm actually start working on the new design already. So they will be ready in um, 2020. Just a little preview. I am planning to have a 10 different kind of combo set. So far I finished four and I'm going to just show you um, what's looked like. We're going to have a beautiful rose and all the roses most of the time they are um, standing up. So I'll come up with this, um, this image that the rose is going to lay down on the table. One is the rose and this is I stamping on the watercolor cardstock. You can use regular cardstock, you can use a macro um, cardstock. Try to use a good quality cardstock they were blending better. And then we have these beautiful butterflies and we have a fuchsia and we have some flowers and I'm actually working on the, the other six flowers so stay tuned and I'm going to give you a little preview each time and in this tutorial I am going to show you most easiest way to do it but of course those are the detail stamp. It's a, deeper, a little bit different with the stamp, um, the shadow stamp. So if you don't know what is between the detail stamp and the shadow stamp, please make sure you go to our DVD library, find out what's different with the shadow stamp and the detail stamp. So the detail stamp is most of the time you have to color in and it is perfect to use a blending um, mushroom, but because we have the matching dye to go with it, that makes your coloring is so easy. Okay, so I've already stamped my butterfly image on the watercolor cardstock. Those cardstock is a kind of thick, so it's a great quality. I don't like a really thin paper, I like a good quality cardstock. You can stamp in on the regular cardstock, it will work too, but I just find a color cardstock, the thickness, just give you a better finish looking. So you can use the memento impact, and when you use a mushroom blending tool, 
you can use both the uh, um, dye base impact or, or the pigment but I found out dye base impact is uh, work better they dry faster and that the color is more bright and then um, if you don't have a domini impact like I do so what you can do is you can buy this uh, memento colitis color each impact count with a five color and they are very useful and I use those a lot so that way you probably only need like a five um, impact and then you probably get all the color you need okay and in this tutorial uh, in this tutorial I have a six, uh, six butterflies and I'm going to show you it probably take me one minute to color all these six butterflies and then they all going to look different so we're going to use our magic mushroom you can see our magic mushroom each mushroom have their own color and try to stay one color yellow go with a yellow tone orange go with the orange and the blue go with the green that way you don't mix it you don't make the color dirty so we we're gonna use this yellow color and then I have been using this mushroom a lot and they always testing see do you have any color on your mushroom because I use yellow all the time they still have some yellow color so that's fine so I'm going to just start with my yellow and this colitis color so I'm going to use my mushroom you are going to brush your mushroom instead of tapping that's how you pick up your mushroom and then watch so okay watch how I call it it's just like that don't blink you might missing something is take like under 10 seconds so we start with one light color and then we just gently raw um, like a circle around and we get a yellow on top don't worry the color is off your line because we have a matching die cut we are going to die cut it so I'm going to pick up a more color you push harder the color is darker you kind of release it in that beautiful yellow butterfly you don't have to do anything it's pretty already and then we're going to do the, the the second one the second one i am going to add a little bit color so i'm going to start with my yellow oh i pick up some uh, red color on top that's okay so we start with a little bit yellow and then if i mushroom pick up some red color don't panic just use a, a wet cloth kind of wipe off squeeze squeeze the dirty um color and then you're going to use clinics just pick up the extra color you got your mushroom clean right away don't worry okay so we are going to use a little bit orange pick a little bit red color always testing a little bit color on your um, scrap paper before you really apply on top and always start with a light color because if it's not dark enough we can always add a little bit more so those magic mushroom, the hardness is uh, the 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 foam is perfect because it is not too hard and not too soft. If it's too soft, you won't be able to blending it, and too hard, they don't move around. So this is just a perfect uh, um per perfect firmness, and then this is just two color. Okay, that's very pretty already, right? And then besides use the magic mushroom or stamp, you can still coloring, but the coloring probably take you more than one minute, um, maybe five minutes to do it. When you use those magic mushroom, it's just fast and it's easy. But you can only do this if you have the matching die to go with it. And the local kings combo set, they all come with a two die cut. They come with a detail die cut. They also come with a background die cut. And I'm going to explain to you what is it background die cut. So I colored two already and now I'm going to use a three color. So three color, you always try to start with a light color first. If it's not enough, we um, add more. Don't try to put too dark because we cannot make it lighter. If it's not dark enough, we can always add a little bit darker. So let's do a little bit green here and we are going to pick up some red remember brush your uh, matching mushroom instead of tapping you brushing it you pick up a um, better color so that's the tree already and now i am going to try to do a earth tone so i'm going to try to start from here you do whatever you like i think you can even do it with the eyes closed it's going to look awesome i'm going to pick up some um brown color here and this one see just like that four coloring take under one minute 
and the dots try some um, purple, blue and purple. So I'm going to use my blue mushroom. Um, check it out what color on your mushroom. If it's a darker color, you might have to clean it. Okay, rub, rub. And then we are going to add a little bit purple. Okay, when you use a darker color, always try to remove a little bit color first. Uh, like I keep repeating, say, don't make it too dark because when you make it too dark, you can turn it light. Start with light and add more and more. Isn't that pretty? So there's one more and let's try one more color. So let's do... Let's do... What color let's do? Let's do the light green. And light blue. And we're going to add a little bit grape color in the corner. Voila! See how easy to color them? And then we are going to do the die cut and the, or die cut is it come with two die cut. So you just place the die cut and cut it out that look like this. So this is a, or detailed die cut. They also come with uh, the background die cut. Most of the die cut on the market, they are like this. So when you die cut it, they have big gap between your die cut image and your um, your stamp image. So sometimes those white gap is is just, white space is just too annoying. So you want, um, but sometimes you want to have it. Sometimes you don't want to have it. So when your background is a dark color, it's good to have a some white gap. But when your background is a light color. You don't want to have that um, white outline there. So, but uh, when they make the die cut, they make it that already, so you don't have a choice. You have to um, have that white gap. But Local King's Combo Set, they come with two die cut. So you decide what you want. When you want to have the white gap, or you don't want to have the white gap, or what you can do is you can cut a piece of brown, paint, uh, brown or color card stuff, and then you can change that white gap between, uh, become any color you like. So that's the benefit of uh, having a matching dye. So that makes your coloring techniques much easier. So I'm going to show you one more coloring. We are going to do that rose and I'm going to show you how to create this amazing um, bubble background. It only takes five seconds to coloring. Okay, so we're going to do this rose. I'm going to just color one and two. We're going to do a sunflower. I'm going to do a fuchsia. Just to show you one or two, give you some idea. So we are going to make like a red, red rose. We are going to start with a little bit yellow first. So I am going to just yellow um, match mushroom. And I am going to just gently find one spot. You push harder, you become darker yellow. You release a, li a little bit pressure, it becomes lighter. So I'm going to start with a little bit yellow and then we can add more and more, okay? Don't start with too dark. Always testing your color first and also they will blending the color together, okay? So when you add the yellow with a dark orange, the two color will blend in together and then create a more color. You don't have to worry about the outline because after all, we are going to die cut it. So when you die cut it, all those color is um, left behind. So it doesn't matter, it's not going to affect. So we're going to pick up a, a little bit magenta color. Okay, that's so pretty. And we're going to just rub, rub on top. You know, don't get it wrong, I love a Kobe marker, but a Kobe marker is really take a time to build out and you really um, need some skill too. 
If you compare, um, compare my stamp at the local king's image with other um, image, you will find out a lot of images, they only have a very simple outline. They don't have those shading. So when they don't have shading, that make a harder job for you because you have to create your own shading. But my design, I all add all those shading. It's kind of like a sketching. So you already get it ready to go. All you have to do is just apply the color on top. So, see how easy I color my rows just like that. And they just mount on piece of color cards that see how pretty it is. And then I'm going to just try one more with a little bit purple color. So, this mushroom, I have some purple color and I think that's enough already. So, I just uh, blending a little bit purple. And then I am going to pick a little uh, magenta, um, darker purple, a magenta color. Look how pretty it is. And uh, you can use a 3D um, embossing, not 3, 3D um, glue to create those kind of water dew on top. That's a beautiful car and uh, it's done just under one minute. So this, this is how I call it. Look how pretty it is. And then we are going to try to do a few shots here. So few shot that's uh, try to do um, pink. Okay, I'm going to pick up some. This uh, um, few shot color, gently rub on top. And I'm going to add a little bit orange. Like I say, always start with a light color. If it's not enough, we add more. You don't want to get it too dark because we can't make it lighter if the color is too dark. See how I color this one? And then we are going to do the green. Just pick up some green color. Always uh, rubbing your mushroom instead of uh, tapping. And you can only do this if you have the magic die cut to go with it. And then not too many companies, they have a matching stand, matching die. So check our website. We have a lot of a wonderful design and then um, you can choose from. So this one, that's do kind of like a light purple in the blue. So I just use my um, purple magic mushroom and uh, always testing on your paper to see what kind of color they have. And then we're going to do a little bit lighter blue. See how pretty it is. Just like that. Honestly, each coloring take under 10 seconds. But don't tell your friend. Always tell your friend it take two hours to make their birthday card. See? And then after that, we are going to use the die cut to die cut it. This is a die cut, they come with a detail and they all also come with the, the background stamp. So this is the one I put the background stamp. This is the one without the background stamp. The choice is over there, you decide what you want to do. The option is over there. You can choose to use the background, the white gap, or you can choose to don't use it. Okay, one more fast coloring. So we are going to use yellow for our sunflower. So just put a little bit yellow. You push harder, you get a darker yellow. You release a little bit pressure, you become lighter color. See, is that pretty? And if you want to add a little bit other color, feel free to do that. But I think that yellow is enough. And then there's some other flower in the back. So I'm going to just use the, the makeup sponge that I have a color on top. And we're going to do a little bit green. Darker green. See how pretty it is? After you die cut it, that's what it looks like this. This is a without the background die cut. It looks pretty when your background is a lighter color. But when your background is darker color, you will have to use that background die cut to create some kind of layering. They will show better. So this is what the yellow look like. And then you can also change a little bit purple color. See, when the background color is light, 
you don't need that white gap. If you have that white gap, it kind of looks weird, but the most of the die cut on the, um, on the market, they have that white gap. So uh, that, that leaves you no choice. So see, no white gap, that looks pretty. But if you have that white gap, well, white, like a gap between your stamp image, you put on the cardstock, is good if your background is dark color. So if your background is darker color, that won't be an issue. So do you like those coloring techniques so far? Next, I'm going to show you how to use those magic mushroom on the background stamp. Can you believe those background stamp take a five second to coloring? No kidding. I am going to prove it. I am going to show you it. It's just like that. So I use a coated cardstock. Um, it's just easier to blending. Of course, you can use regular cardstock will work just fine. So this is our new background stamp. Even without any color, they looks pretty already, isn't it? So, but I am going to just show you how to coloring and it's just so easy see it's just with a black color and then it's just something really you, you need but uh, we are going to use the uh, or match mushroom to do some coloring and the uh, same thing again for I stamping with a stay zone on the code glossy uh, not glossy you can use glossy to code the matte cardstock so first one we are going to kind of like do the blue color but when you do the blue you can just do blue but i'm going to just pick a little bit light green and kind of just uh, apply a little bit here and leave a little bit there and then we are going to change our blue mushroom kind of just uh, circling around Done. Under five seconds. No kidding, right? And now we are going to do a little bit reddish color. So I use my yellow matching mushroom, kind of rub a little bit here. Okay, and then we are going to do our red color. Same stamp different color looks how different it is we are going to try one with the uh, um, blue and the purple so just to kind of change the spot and like I say those magic mushroom you push harder they are darker you release a little bit pressure um, they become lighter so I put a little bit fuchsia color and then on the coated matte cardstock because the surface is coated um, is coated so it's so easy to blend and then I just use two color but when you blending together they created they look like a more than two okay let's just do one more one more color let's see which color we are going to do so I am going to do kind of like a earth tone so let's just grab these, any color you like. Actually, I'm going to just pick up uh, some kind of brown and green. You know, you never know what it, what it turned out. Four different coloring techniques under one minute. Can you tell me any other stamping coloring technique like this easy? Okay, so next one, we are going to do our bark. And the same thing, we are going to kind of apply a little bit light color. And then you can just use your magic mushroom, um, apply this direction. Or let's do a little bit, mix a little bit green. The first one, done and we are going to do a little bit blue so you choose whatever you like any color you like and those mushroom is really heavy duty easy to blending it just make sure try to stay one color one mushroom so try to keep your mushroom clean for one color is that pretty so i can, you can also use a, the crackle one 
and then this is what I use is um, or glossy cardstock. It all looks different, and then you just combine your um, your image on top. When the background is a darker color, you can um, just uh, use your background die cut. If this white is too much, you can just soft a little bit with your magic mushroom. But if your background is just one simple color, you don't really need this backing. But like I say, the option is over there. So like if your background is just one plain color, you can do like embossing, whatever, they will pop out like that. So you decide what you like. Okay, so that's what's all okay. Okay, so that's today's tutorial. Make sure you check our website. Like I say, I have a extended or magic mushroom promotion until November 15. Only November 15. After November 15, you will have to pay for the um, those holding bases. There is no free holding bases anymore. If you want to buy those holding bases, they are twelve for ninety nine for two of them, and I have to pay ten dollars for the shipping fee just for the holding bases. So order now, you actually save a good amount of money, and make sure you check our website. We have a lot of wonderful tutorial ready to view, and the magic mushroom is on board and is heading to Vancouver right now, and it should be here around the mid November, and we will have it out by the end of November. It's a great Christmas gift for your crafting friend. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time.